gonna last. Yeah. So we drink it nice and piping hot first, and then whatever is left that is cold gets turned into iced coffee. Friends, welcome back or welcome to the channel. It's Serena from the Falco family, and today I decided to start sharing something a little different than the norm. Firstly, because I realized that, I mean, it really shapes everything that we do in our homeschool and life. And secondly, that's if secondly is a word. <laughs> um, because it has been the one thing that always bears good fruit in my days. Um, it's the time that I spend reading and studying and meditating and considering and delighting in the scripture. It is what grounds me. And in the past, I've, I've mentioned my faith more subtly here and there. Um, but really it's a matter of fact in my life, like a deeply personal journey that I have just loved, uh, living out the highs and the lows. And I just never feel like it's up for a debate in my eyes. And the internet can seem like a place where things are debatable and things need to be challenged. And I just, you know, my faith is not that for me. Um, but I, I'm definitely open to thoughtful and gracious consideration. You know, the kindness laced in love. Like, I can do that. I can have that kind of conversation about, um, faith, but not a combative, messy, kind of bossy, kind of situation that's just not for me but <laughs> anyway in this season I feel a gentle push to share um so yeah while my surroundings are hardly quiet uh when I'm calling through the things that are in my basket uh the time that I spend helps me to learn to quiet quote unquote um, all of the noise of life that tries to consume my heart and my mind daily. Um, so, yeah, it's my Christian faith-filled girl must-have. <laughs> that is my quiet time basket, morning basket, uh, Bible study basket, whatever you would like to call it. That is what is my must-have as a Christian woman. Um, as a Christian mom, as a Christian homeschool mother, as a Christian girly, as a Christian daughter, like all of those things, I, I kind of have gotten to the place where this is a must have um, for me. I have been a Christian girly all of my life. Uh, I've most recently realize the depths of which spending time studying the word adds to my intimacy with the Lord. Um, I am learning that it's okay to let the way that I spend my time with him match like the uniquely creative way that he made me. Um, and it's really been life changing. Um, my basket changes all of the time. Uh, I fill it with Bibles and resources um, and supplies using creative methods of spending time with the Lord, um, that I have really considered and dreamed up. The hope is to never grow bored of the ways in which I spend time in the Word and with God, and really it's exciting. I am currently curiously considering my story as it relates to his story and the work that he has assigned me. Uh, and the growth that I've experienced in him up until now. So my basket is kind of full of tools and resources to seek his face concerning these things. I feel like I've said the most right now, but that is just kind of my setup or disclaimer moving into what is currently in my basket. Um, the way that I see it, I just fill up my basket every week with something new. Um, and I'm imagining if I get really into a specific um, path of study, then my basket can stay the same for, um, several weeks. 
if I needed to. But right now, I'm really focusing in on um, my growth and purpose and that type of thing. So the Bibles that I have in here and the studies I have in here and the resources that I have in here kind of have to do with that. And then when I'm ready to change them out, I'll switch them up. So I want to be able to just kind of document what my basket looks like over some time. And I'm kind of excited and feel like it's just a <laughs> creative way for me to just continue to spend time uh, with the Lord. So yeah, so I'm going to walk you through what I currently have in here. This is um, my basket and I have my little, <laughs> tool, I call it my toolbox, like my little tool bag um, that has all of my pins and highlighters and supplies and things. I don't know, should I, I don't know if I, I'm not going to completely like break that down slash go through it this time around, maybe in another video. I have talked forever and a decade. Let's get into what is in my basket. So I got this basket, which I really enjoy. I can't, honestly, I can't remember if I got it from Hobby Lobby. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's either from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. It actually came in this larger size and then there was a smaller size. I do kind of wish I had gotten the smaller size, so I might go back and see if I can pick it up. But I just love the feel of it. I love that it holds so much. I just think it's so cute. Um, I love the natural materials and then I love the little pop of white at the bottom you guys know that I love pops of white <laughs> so um it just holds so much and it has the two little handles on the side that make it easy for me to um I actually keep this in my prayer closet or my closet whatever you'd like to call it but I keep it in my closet and in the morning I just pick it up and bring it out here to work on it throughout the morning and throughout the rest of the day or work in it however you'd like to call that so um the first thing i have it looks like i have one two three four bibles in here right now and trust me there are more i have a collection of 20 bibles that i have thoughtfully curated and added to my collection and i really enjoy i'm not going to go into details on the bibles maybe i'll do that in a different video but this is um the flourish study bible it's such a pretty bible um it is hard cover um i put on these multi colored are they multi colored if they're in the same colorway um anyway <laughs> these purple bible tabs some of my bibles have tabs on them and some of them don't i don't know why they make sense in my head I'm very particular about them <laughs> i really enjoy them it has these um two pretty um bookmark ribbons and uh, I use this Bible for uh, keeping account of or documenting how I'm growing. But your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Each Bible that I have has a bunch of unique features that um, I feel like add to what I would want to use the Bible for. And maybe I'll go over that in my collection video. So my Flourish Bible is the first one that I have in my basket. The next one I have is our storybook Bible. I showed this one. It actually has a cover on it in one of my curriculum videos for the kids or a couple of the curriculum videos for the kids. So I really enjoy this Bible. This one, along with the Action Bible, is just really, really helpful when I'm working my way through um, Bible stories. It just kind of makes it the most basic possible um and helps to remind me not to overthink too much so it also helps me consider different contexts and how i want to share what i'm studying with the kids uh throughout the weeks um i think it's important i think it's really important to share like what is being revealed to me with the kids as well so this helps me to keep that in mind so i just have the biggest uh, story Bible. So yeah, I like to just kind of keep that in mind, especially when I'm planning out what we're going to be doing in the weeks and months moving forward. So I have that one in there. Next up, I have this, I think it's called the Artesian Collection. It's a journaling Bible. It is in 
Oh, I didn't tell you what translation. Um, that Flourish Bible is the NIV translation. Um, and then this one also is the NIV translation. I have quite a bit of NIV <laughs> Bibles. Um, I like having different translations, but I tend to be in my NIV translations quite a bit. So uh, I just love the way this Bible feels. I love that it's a bit more compact. Um, and then it has just plenty of space. Uh, it does have red letters. Uh, where the words of Jesus are documented. Uh, it has plenty of space to journal. I really like that the pages, I, I mean, I like both uh, types of Bibles where the pages are nice and crisp white and then others where the pages are a nice creamy color. So these are a nice creamy color. Um, I love the flexibility of this Bible. Um, I like that for my specific journaling Bibles where I'm gonna be writing in more. Um, I actually, <laughs> I actually have uh, kind of assigned, I, I tend to, there's not much written in here, but there's a lot that needs to be transferred in here because I just kind of had a little bit of a hesitation writing the wrong things in the Bible. So I just kind of give myself some time to sit with it before I then transfer a lot of notes into my Bibles. So that one um, I use for tracking uh, what the Lord is saying to me purpose wise like my assignment and my specific purpose next up is my a new edition this is kjv and it is the rainbow study bible i'm trying to do this with one hand here um but this bible doesn't really have a study notes included but it does have um, it is separated or sorted uh, by topic, discipleship, outreach, family, faith, prophecy, evil, sin, history. I really like adding this um, into the mix while I am reading. I often find myself uh, considering a certain passage and then saying, oh, let me go check out my Rainbow Study Bible to see how they categorized um, any given passage. So I like adding this one into the mix. It feels so good in my hands and I love this purple color. It's so pretty. Uh, and that that is it for the Bibles that I have in my basket right now. Next up I have um, a pack of note cards. Now these note cards is for another these no cards are to be added to a different bible but i do like to add them to my basket just so that i can work on them little bit by little bit um i am using these cards to i guess it would be considered um verse mapping or like verse diagramming um so i am enjoying tracking um verses scripture verses that speak to my identity in Christ. So that is what I'm doing with these. I'm trying to build up cards that speak to my identity and then they're going to be added to that specific Bible. And I'll show you another resource that's in my basket that I've been using uh, to work on that as well. So I love using a note card. We have There, we have plenty, we have no shortage of no cards around these parts <laughs> in these homeschool streets. Um, so I have that. All right, now I have um, this devotional. I have not cracked open just yet. Um, I am doing uh, Jackie Hill Perry's Upon Waking. It's got a beautiful cover, but I usually just add... Um, a devotion into my basket. I like devotionals a lot for prayer building. They really help to shape my prayers and my prayer journals um, very nicely. So I'm going to be opening this one up and getting into this one. I usually have um, a devotional for the morning and then a devotional for the evening. Sometimes I can overdo it and do one at in the afternoon sometimes i just do the most and that's okay <laughs> so this one is next up on my devotional list uh then i have a notebook uh, this one is actually by day spring yes it's my day spring 
and I really like when they include these little, I don't know what it's called, but I like that they have these protectors on the corners. I like to use notebooks to track specific things. This one is for tracking um, as I listen to certain messages and want to keep an account of the things that I'm learning. Um, so in this notebook in particular has Bible verses that are at the bottom, which is nice. And it has very, very pretty pages. So not all of my notebooks are like this, but I usually try to go for notebooks that I'm super drawn to because it just makes you want to open them up more and be in them and fill them up. And then this one is like a devotional guide. Um, I got this specifically to just kind of help inspire me to keep moving with my verse mapping uh, for those identity cards. And um, I wish it had more examples of verse breakdowns but the more that I've been flipping through this the more I see that this would be really nice for someone who's real you know trying to get into the discipline of studying the Bible um, on a more consistent and regular basis so I do like the way this is laid out um, but I specifically have been using it just to keep me inspired and moving along with my verse uh, mapping for my identity cards so I have true and lovely, whatever is true and lovely. It's considered a devotional guide, and I think that would be about accurate. All right, so we're getting to the end of the basket, friends. <laughs> I have uh, my faith planner. Um, I got this a couple of years ago. It is the Erin Condren, I think, um, the three ring binder. I don't usually, I mean, I felt like it was quite pricey, but I really like it. And I like that I can use it from year to year and just add new inserts to it. So I decorated it nicely. Makes me want to open it and be in it more and more. I usually, I basically use this for tracking use it as somewhat of a gratitude journal and then also tracking my goals um my bible study goals so i'll break them down by month and just kind of keep track of which things i'm actually uh doing and i mean very fluid nothing too heavy just really helps me develop my disciplines and and mainly keeping track of what I am reading and studying in my devotionals. Just those like uh, little tiny moments that you spend reading a devotional or little things that you hear. I feel like those things all put together tell a bigger story that's uniquely personal to your relationship with um, God. So I love that and I love keeping track of that. And other spiritual goals that I have inside of this planner. The last thing that I have in here is just... This is a Bible cover that I usually just keep one of my bigger resources in. Whether it is a... Um, whether it is a commentary or in this case, I think I have my dictionary. Yep. Yeah. So I just keep the Tyndale Bible Dictionary um, in this area. It has lots of little pockets and things, but I don't really need those right now because um, I use my bigger, um, like, stationary bag to hold the things that I need. But sometimes I don't want to take, you know, depending on where I'm going to be, carrying my basket I might not want to take my bigger one so I probably should um, go ahead and stash some pins and other things inside of here that way I don't have to have my bigger um like pin pin highlighter pouch with me but I will show you very quickly this is just great because I usually take all of the stacks and carry it around the house and this just makes it a lot easier for me to do that and we have Lucy over here hanging out with Kendall. All right, so now let's talk about my pouch. Again, I'm not gonna go in specific details of what is in here. I mainly just have all the things that I need. Uh, stamp blocks, um, different highlighters are mainly up in these sections. Uh, this is a tape runner. Um, this is 
This is a white uh, gel pen. And then these are my favorite. The Sharpie S gel. Although I might have a new favorite that's like a non-name brand. I have um, my calligraphy pen, my ink pen, and then my digital pen because I do usually keep my iPad somewhat um, close by. And then inside is just a bunch of highlighters and pens and a, a date stamper. I usually stamp the date in my prayer journal. Um, and then some black ink in there and some other stamps. Um, I can go through it in detail maybe in another video. But post-its and uh, page tabs. Is that focusing? Page tabs post-its I do have these clear tabs I mean um white tabs that I usually use in some of my other Bibles and then some extra I think in the back of here is some extra leftover um tabs from my Bible tabs yep I usually keep those back here because they're nice to add to my Bibles from time to time and that is what's in here. I just keep all my pins and things close by in case I want to add um, anything specific to my anything specific to my Bibles while I'm studying. So that's it, you guys. That is what is in my my Bible study basket. Uh, I found it interesting uh, the disclaimers that people often feel that they need to include. Um, kind of like justifying Bible tools and resources that they have invested in. Um, I feel like people often emphatically express that it's unnecessary or even too much uh, when it comes to Bibles and resources and things. And um, I think we have grown so accustomed to it being okay to have closets full of shoes and shirts and purses and you know a whole garage full of tools and I mean whatever makes you happy makes you happy as long as you are you know adding your own personal checks and balances into the mix um, but how I see it is whatever it takes for me uh, to spend every waking moment of my life talking to walking with the Lord that saved me by grace and through faith like is what I need to do so um, just having that extra revelation of how important it is to spend time in the word just I mean I don't need anything else to justify um, just being creative in the word and so if that means owning several bibles and tools and resources and things like why not um people spend money on journaling supplies they spend money on gardening things they spend money i mean i feel like there needs to be no justification but just in case you come into these youtube streets on my video i think it's important for you to invest in the things that fill you up and so this it fills me up thank you so much for watching remember life is so very full of lessons and our goal as always is to live and to learn and i will see you in the next one